Hey everyone, it's Maggie Mulhern here from Modern Salon TV. I am here with season two sheer genius artist, Nicole Aubert. And we were just, we're at a photo shoot uh, here in New York City, and we were just talking about the whole business of reality TV and whether or not that's something good. Um, and you were saying, yes, it is. Want to elaborate on that? Yeah, I think um, personally for me, being on Sheer Genius was really great because it opened a lot of opportunities for me. Like, it created a lot of opportunities, and I should say, opened a lot of doors for me because at that time I was just starting out and I needed to build a clientele and for you to build a clientele you need people to know who you are and so being on national television and showcasing your actual craft is a good thing now I think if you're gonna go on a TV show that's drama filled and shows how you know snooty or whatever you can be I don't necessarily think that's the best thing for your career but um, if you're gonna do something where it really shows off your talent and how you are as an individual at your craft I think it's very you know, pushing forward for you. Well, you started, you were still an assistant or you had just mm -hmm. become a hairdresser and a lot of new hairdressers think, well, I, I don't have enough experience, but that's not always the case, right? I mean, you, right. what made you, what prompted you to say, oh, I want to enter that? Well, for me, I always tell young hairdressers, it's not the years of experience that you have. It's what you do in those years that make you successful. Because I'd only been doing hair for four years, but I was training my butt off with the top artists in the United States. You know, I worked at Arojo Studio, and he is from Sassoon, and all of the artists there are from Sassoon. And so I had a really awesome background in training. And that's something that a lot of people don't focus on. And so it just shows that education is super important because it will continue throughout your entire career. And I really feel like that's what got me as far as I did. All right, so what's happened to you in the years since <laughs> Sheer Genius? I can't believe it's been so long since then. Um, How many years well, ago was it? I guess that was 2008, it's 2013, so was that five years? Holy moly, that is, <laughs> that is so crazy. Um, well, since then, uh, I have become a design team member for Wella. I work for the Wella Corporation, which is a huge honor for me. I love that company. I also work uh, with Tabitha Coffey, who was also on Sheer Genius. She was on season one. And, and now she has this really cool line, Lux Hair. Yeah, yeah. she has Lux Hair. Uh, which is a really great line for women who ha are like thinning or balding, alopecia, female pattern baldness. It's really cool wigs and uh, hair pieces. That and it's really cool. I, I must say, I went to the to the launch of that, and there's actually one of Tabitha's in Tabitha's line. There's one that's her haircut. Yes, which is pretty it cool, is yeah. her haircut. It's exactly her haircut, which says a lot about her because it's so hard to wear a wig that is cut so short without seeing netting, and so it just shows you like the real quality and craft and time that she put in to these pieces. So she's in every single piece that you'll see. So Okay, and you're really working cool at a salon in New Jersey. I work at a salon in New Jersey. I work at Anthony Roberts Salon in New Jersey. So I'm just like trying to kick butt and take names. Do you still <laughs> get clients as a result of Sheer Genius? I do. You know, it's funny because sometimes they still play reruns and they'll read my bio and they'll see that I was on TV and they'll be like, well, you got as far as you did and you're super trendy, so I'm going to come and see you. And that's just like a huge you know, testament to how hard I've worked because that's what's important to me is seeing that other people still see how hard I work to become better. Yeah, well, they're tracking you down. All right, last <laughs> question. You said to me, and you didn't answer, you didn't finish it, if I had known then what I know now, mm -hmm. fill that in. I think that for me, I mean, I got third place on the show, but I think for me, things would be, di things would have been different knowing now, had I known now what I didn't know then, I think things would have been different because you realize on reality TV, you're, how good you are is only going to go so far because on TV, you need that little bit of drama, you know, otherwise people aren't going to watch it. So I probably would have focused more on shortcuts and like just getting what they wanted rather than showing the world how great I could be, you know. So I think it would be, I think it'd be a lot different. And I've, I've grown a lot, so I know a lot of shortcuts and little tips and tricks to get around things that I had to do at that point. So the bottom line, it was a good thing. It was a good thing oh, to absolutely. do reality TV. Yep. And you still go back to Texas and everybody says, oh my God, here's Nicole. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. It was definitely a turning point in my career and I would absolutely do it again, hands down. It's funny because even here today, we were working with uh, makeup artist David Matterich and he's like, I know you, did we shoot together? <laughs> and that happens a lot, right? It happens a lot in the industry. People are like, did you teach a class? I know you from somewhere. And I always think, you know, well, cause I worked on stage a lot with Arojo, so I feel like maybe that's it. And they're like, no, were you on TV? 
and I, I try to be really humble about it because it's like I think it's a, yes I was on TV you know uh, I try not to be like that but sometimes you just have to say it because then you'll stand there for hours. Well now now you're on Modern Salon TV no, yes. so let's see where that gets you. Let's see yes. let's see what happens as a result. Of it. Well thank you so much. It was thank so great seeing you and, and we had, had a wonderful shoot time. today. Yeah. Thank you. Great. We'll talk to you later. Okay. See ya. Bye.